Welcome to Kingdom Principles for Daily Living by Doxa Mission. At Doxa Mission, we believe in healing for the total person, spirit, soul, and body. I am Dr. Ndidi Dagu. Today, we'll be looking at the subject, what would you ask for? Father, we give you thanks, we give you praise, even as we get into the word. The entrance of your word brings light and understanding to the simple. Help us understand your word and let it be a light unto our path in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, one of the things that prompted me to look at this um, subject was a story I heard from a preacher who was talking about a particular beggar that he met. And the person met him on the side street and asked him for one dollar. And incidentally, he decided to test what a principle he had um, he had come across before, which was that the mentality of certain people will keep them the way they are. And so he gave the person who was begging him for money the option of the dollar the person asked for and a hundred dollar bill. And the person looked at him, looked at the hundred dollar bill, looked at the one dollar, looked at him again, looked at the hundred dollar bill and looked at the one dollar shook his head, snatched the one dollar, and got out of there. Probably, with the story he told, the person felt he was tricking him or trying to test him in a funny way. But he had asked the person, would you take the dollar you asked or would you take a hundred dollars which I have to give you? And so that also reminds me of a story in the Bible I'm going to read as I um, introduce the subject. But let's look at two scriptures first of all. First, we look at Luke 11, 9. And I say unto you, Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. And John 16.23 says, And in that day ye shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Now the story I was talking about uh, in the Bible that struck me and reminded me of the story the preacher had given is the story of Solomon found in 1st King chapter 3. I'm going to read. And Solomon loved the Lord, walking in the statutes of David his father. Only he sacrificed and burned incense in high places. And the king went to Gibeon to, <coughs> to sacrifice there, for that was the great high place. A thousand bond offerings did Solomon offer upon that altar. In Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night, and God said, Ask what I shall give thee. Now that is a very interesting challenge. God giving him an open slate. Let's look at what Solomon answered.
Verse 9. Give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people, that I may discern between good and bad. For who is able to judge this thy so great a people? And the speech pleased the Lord that Solomon had asked this thing. And God said unto him, Because thou hast asked this thing, and hast not asked for thyself long life, neither hast asked riches for thyself, nor hast asked the life of thine enemies, but hast asked for thyself understanding and to discern judgment. As you read on, you will see that God said to Solomon that he will add riches and honor and a lot of other things unto his life. And so did he, that Solomon became the richest man in the world at that time. Now this takes me to the New Testament to another story of somebody else that was given a blank slate. I will see that I'm reading from the Amplified Version, Mark chapter 10 from verse 46. Then they came to Jericho, and as he was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a great crowd, Bartimaeus, a blind beggar, a son of Timaeus, was sitting by the roadside. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout, saying, Jesus, son of David, have pity and mercy on me now. And many severely censured him and reproved him, telling him to keep still. But he kept on shouting out all the more. You son of David, have pity and mercy on me now. And Jesus stopped and said, Call him. And they called the blind man, telling him, Take courage, get up, he is calling you. And throwing off his outer garment, he leaped and came to Jesus. And Jesus said to him, what do you want me to do for you? And the blind man said to him, Master, let me receive my sight. And Jesus said to him, Go your way. Your faith has healed you. And at once he received his sight and accompanied Jesus on the road. Now this story is quite interesting. If we look at Bartimaeus, he had many needs. He wasn't just blind. He could have been blind and at his home, had a job or had something he was doing. But no, he was blind and he was a beggar. And it was obvious that as he was shouting for Jesus' attention, the way people shunned him down meant he was not of any repute in the society. He didn't have any reputation or anything. And so people looked down on him. And so he had a lot of other problems that may not have been obvious in the story. So he had a lot of needs. And as Jesus gave him the options, he could have just asked for money since he's a beggar and probably he might have been hungry at that time and he might, if he had asked for money and gotten money, he might think that would be a better option for him. Aside from that, he could have also asked for wisdom. Although, I don't know where wisdom is going to take him. Because just like um, I, I thought the first time I read the Solomon story, that of course it is wisdom I will ask for if I am in such a circumstance. Of course, hindsight is always twenty twenty. You'll be able to look back and you'll be able to make choices. Um, but those who are in the situation may not find it easy. Now, but for Bartimaeus, what was most important for him was that if he regained his sight, he could get a lot of the things that were his need. So his focus was to obtain his sight. And that was why he focused on asking Jesus that he should regain his sight. John 16, 24 says, 
Hitherto have ye asked nothing in my name. Ask, and ye shall receive, that your joy may be full. Ask, and you shall receive, that your joy may be full. Today, Jesus is as available to you as he was to Bartimaeus that fateful day that he was walking along the road. He's just as willing to meet your need. The question I want to ask you is, do you really know what to ask for? And I'm going to take a pause here and I'll ask you, if Jesus were standing in front of you right now as I'm speaking and says, what do you want me to do for you? What is your answer? Think about it. Now, I don't know what your answer is, but you know and the Lord knows. Pray about it as you finish this podcast. Let the Lord Jesus open your eyes and also show you what you really need. And as you see it, he is available for us today, just like he is available for Bartimaeus. And that's why he said in his word that we should ask. And if we ask, he will grant us that our joy may be full. As you take time off after this podcast, please ask him for something. He, Jesus is with you today in the, in the, uh, um, as the Holy Spirit, just like he was physically present with Bartimaeus. Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened. As you do it, you will receive your miracle. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for listening. If you were blessed by this message, please like it and share with others. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more messages at Doxa Missions. That is D-O-X-A-M-I-S-S-I-O-N-S on YouTube. You can also find us on Facebook at Doxa Missions and on Twitter at Doxa Missions. We are also on Instagram at Doxa Missions SLU. God bless you.